Dislocations of the talus. Dislocation of the talus can be a total dislocation or a subtalar dislocation. Here is an example of the types of dislocation. These types are total and subtalar. Subtalar dislocations can either be lateral or medial. Total dislocation of the talus, which is not accompanied by a fracture, is a very rare injury. Most of these injuries are open. Urgent care is necessary to avoid soft tissue complication. High risk avascular necrosis of the talus, arthritis, and soft tissue infection. Subtalar dislocation of the talus is a rare injury that results from either excessive supination or from excessive pronation. It involves simultaneous dislocation of the distal articulations of the talus at the talocalcaneal and the talonavicular joint. Lateral subtalar dislocation. It's often the result of high energy trauma. Lateral subtalar dislocation has a worse long-term prognosis. Irreducible lateral dislocation due to interposed tibialis posterior tendon. This could be unstable and may sublux and there may be a need for a CT scan to check for fractures. Medial subtalar dislocation. 85% of the dislocations are medial and often result from low energy trauma. Irreducible medial dislocation due to interposed extensor digitorum brevis or extensor retinaculum. The direction of subtalar dislocation has important effects with respect to management and outcome. Complications of subtalar dislocation may include stiffness and subtalar arthritis. If the dislocation is stable, it is treated with closed reduction and three to four weeks of immobilization followed by physical therapy. If it is unstable after closed reduction, internal fixation may be required. Anteromedial incision is used for medial dislocation and lateral approach is used for lateral dislocation. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.